This is a much bigger stage than the one downstairs. And so I'm so glad that, um, that you all share this space with the kids. Every Sunday, I welcome them. All the new friends, welcome to River Life Church. And then if you're a friend who's coming back, welcome back. My name is Pang. I wear my favorite orange shirt every Sunday. Someone caught the other Sunday ago that sometimes I leave the name tag on. And then I just wear the same shirt with the same name tag. So that's my little shortcut. Every Sunday, I also share a story. And most of the time, it's about me and a family member and some mistakes I've made. And the kids are always so forgiving. Right, Athena? Well, today is another story. It involves me. And every story always includes how God is there. So my story today is when I was in third grade, uh, I was born in Wausau, Wisconsin. That's about three hours away in a small town. And in third grade, before school ended, my parents decided they were going to move to Minneapolis. And at the time, I couldn't pronounce Minneapolis, so I told everybody we were moving to St. Paul instead. And when I decided, oh my goodness, it's third grade, I'm moving to a new school, I felt all sorts of feelings. And that's what we've been learning about downstairs, feelings. We've learned about joy. She's vibrant. She's happy. She's energetic. Then we've learned about sadness. And she's blue. And she thinks positively about every negative thing. And then we've learned about disgust. And she's beautiful, beautiful, but she's green. And she's grossed out by everything. And then there's anger, and he's, he's, he's tiny, just like me, but he's a ball of fire. And then fear, who we're going to learn about. And when my family decided to move to Minneapolis, I felt all sorts of things. I felt excited because we were moving to a new place, a bigger place. But then um, I was also sad because um, I have like 20 cousins, and I was leaving all 20 of them. And they were my best friends. My cousins were my best friends. And so I was sad because I knew if we moved, I wouldn't be with them anymore. But I was happy. I was also happy because during that time, my mom and dad, they were looking for a job. And they had a really hard time. And so I knew that if we moved from Wausau to Minneapolis, my parents would find a job. And then maybe conversations would be happier. And maybe my parents would be happier. So I was so optimistic. I was so excited about that. And then a little nervous because my 20 cousins over there were awesome. But then I had 20 more cousins in Minneapolis. And I was a little nervous, like, would we get to sleep over at each other's house? Would they laugh at my joke? Would they think I'm cool? I was a little nervous. And this is what I realized. God never left my family. He never left me in Wausau, happy, excited, nervous, um, sad. I came here and I told God everything. I was like, God, I'm, my cousins, my cousins, and my mom and dad's job. And I told God everything. And here's the thing. With all of our feelings, God wants to hear them all. You know when a person cries, the first thing they always say is, I'm sorry. The moment a person cries, immediately, I'm so sorry. And I've learned to say, it's okay. Let the tears come. Tell me about the tears. I mean, isn't that interesting? We never say sorry when we smile, right? Or when we laugh so loud and then we hit our knee. We never say, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I laughed so loud. But for some reason, with tears, we apologize. And God says, oh, come here, come here, bring those tears. Here's some Kleenex. And those heavenly Kleenex, they never get wet, never. That's what God wants. I want to share a verse with you. It's in Psalm 16. 
And the Psalms is a beautiful poem that has some deep words. I'm going to share one of them with you. It says, you will show me the way of life, granting me the joy of your presence and the pleasures of living with you forever. God knows I'm going to feel all sorts of things. But one thing God's word says is he will never leave me. I have the joy that God will be present. Wausau, three-hour drive, Minneapolis. God's going to be with me. Now that's to my little friends. I have something to share with the big friends. Families. I speak on behalf of Thrive Youth and River Kids. We love serving your children. Why? Because they are the most honest, curious, and forgiving human beings on Sundays and every other day. I live with my nephew, and I know that to be true, that any moment he's going to be honest, curious, and forgiving. And that's why we serve them. My question is, how about you? Are you ready to say yes in impacting, making a difference on the most curious, kind, and forgiving human beings on a Sunday or any other day for Thrive Youth, it's Fridays. I invite you to say yes to them. I guarantee you, you're all sitting in this room because you can think of one person who made a difference when you were in elementary school or high school. My hope is that you would turn back and give back. Thank you all for your time. Have a good day.